all right everybody welcome back to the channel uh it's been a little bit since my last video the lsfs1 but uh had a little bit of medical issues sucks getting old um i know there's a lot of young pups on youtube but uh i'm in my mid 40s and life's catching up to me all this hard work anyways nonsense uh I'm gonna do a little more on this belt grinder here today. We're actually gonna work with the electrical. So this is a three-phase motor, and I don't have three-phase in my garage. I don't have three-phase in my house at all. So we're gonna use this BFD and convert it from single-phase over to three-phase. Uh, so Houseworks actually does a video on this, wiring this up. So I'm going to kind of give my brief rendition of it. This will probably end up being a pretty short video, but I just want to get this wired up um, and plugged in. And I actually want to see, I want to get it working today and everything. And then I just, after that, I just have very minimal stuff to do. Anyways, I grabbed some of these connectors. I just grinded them down on my little grinder there. Uh, so that they would actually fit inside these here. So I got to look around. I don't know what the heck I did with that guy right there. So it's got to be up. Oh, found it. So anyways, we're going to get those connected. I'll get this. So this is just a, a 3 by 12 gauge. 3 wires, 12 gauge. And then this big boy is the four by 12. Uh, so I already got those run in. I got this connector in there. Uh, just gotta figure out which wires I need to do here. And then on this one, which wires go to where inside there. And then this end of this, we'll plug into the other side and we'll get her all going. So I'm gonna check out a couple things and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so what we got here, the green is obviously the ground. It's going to go right in there. And then we've got these three wires that are connected to nothing. Uh, gray, yellow, and black. We're just tucking those in there. Uh, then to the black wire, we got the yellow and black and orange. The white wire, we got the blue and the brown. And then the red wire, we got red and white. So I'm gonna get this ground plugged in. I was just letting that cool after I heat shrunk it. Looks like I burned it a little too damn much. Oh well. So I'll get that back in and then I'll finish getting the VFD hooked up. I got the VFD to the end there and, and then I've got this 20 amp, uh, 220, I just got to put on the end of that. And then I've already got both grounds hooked up. So I just got to look real quick and see which is which. Uh, black and white don't matter. It's the red that I got to figure out. So uh, anyways, I'll figure that out real quick. And then I'll be right back with you guys. All right. So... We've got plugged into 220, running up to the VFD. Got this all buttoned up. And then running from the VFD three phase into the motor. Uh, so we got forward, reverse, and uh, this is how you control the speed on it. And then run and stop. So we'll hit run there. And as you can see, she's working. I did here. Yep. Nice and simple transition. It actually slows down before it goes into forward or reverse. Uh, and then as it's spinning right there, you can actually just hit stop. It'll save what position or what speed you're at. Uh, so that's pretty cool there. So I'm going to 
tighten a couple, I'm gonna put a belt on, tighten a couple things down, and we're gonna test it with the belt. All right, so, working really good. Uh, I do have to adjust some things because in reverse, yeah. But I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'll use this a whole lot in reverse, but as you can see, as I adjust this, this tracking arm, it kind of centers everything. Uh, and it's, it's running really good. So, I'm, it's awesome. So it tracks really good forward. Uh, there's just a bunch of things that I need to adjust to actually get it to track backwards good <clears throat> or in reverse. Um, like I said, I don't think I'll use it much in reverse. That's mainly for like knife making and stuff uh, where I'm not using this for knife making, uh, solely just for like fabrication for me in the shop. So, but super awesome to get this up and running. Uh, I just got to put the the back plate on here. I've got it right here. I just got to weld it up and get two little slots made for it so I can slide it in and out. And then I still just have this tack welded to the base. I just need to get a couple good welds on that. Uh, he does go through and weld all of these. I don't know if I'm going to. Uh, it's pretty freaking stout just with those couple of welds. And then I put some good welds on the bottom here and then across the back as well, I think. Can't remember, it's been a hot minute. Yeah, I got some good welds across the back there. So, and this thing's pretty damn stout. Uh, I might just weld those up for good measure, who knows, we'll see. Well, other than that, just a couple welding, or a little bit of welding left. And then make the, the plenum backing here. And then on the tool rest, I just got a couple adjustments on that to make up. Then the project's all done. So I just want to make this short one, you know, doing the, the uh, getting the VFD done, uh, rigged up to the motor, get it plugged in and test it. So it works amazingly and i couldn't be more happy um you know i'm i'm into this a heck of a lot less than going out and buying an actual uh 2x72 belt grinder uh i don't know if anyone's price those but they're a couple thousand dollars and i think i'm into this about eight or nine hundred so it's pretty significant I mean, the motor itself is like 219 bucks. And then you're into it, the steel, if you wanna do all the fabricating yourself. There was a couple of things that I bought. Uh, obviously this, this tracking mechanism I bought, which was only like 50 bucks. The VFD, the cheap ones were only, I think I got this for like $68 and I bought two of them uh as opposed to spending like 350 dollars for the the other vfd that he he recommends so anyways i'm gonna leave it off there uh if you guys like the video please comment like subscribe guys follow along uh i love everybody that does i love all the comments the input everything so I hope to see more of you guys subscribe and follow along and we'll see you in the next video.